it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you're new here. If you're new here, hi hello and welcome. My name is Hannah and in today's video I'm going to be doing a haul update on everything that I hauled a couple of Saturdays ago. I did a makeup and just a bunch of other little random things haul. I'm going to be giving you guys an update on all the skincare, the hair care, and the makeup that I bought um, from that video. I'm going to give you guys an update on everything that I have used because I've used everything. It's been um, here at my house um, for over two months now. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into these mini reviews. So the very first thing that I'm going to give you guys a review on is the Dove Care Between Washes Dry Shampoo. Now this is the one for brunettes and this just sprays into your hair um, kind of like a dark mist and it comes out kind of like a dark powder. It doesn't um, have any white flakes in your roots is what I was trying to link down and show you guys like most dry shampoos do it for people like myself that have really really dark brown hair and I really like this a lot because normally whenever I use dry shampoo it always leaves those little white flakes in my hair no matter what brand I use whether it be a drugstore, a high end, just whatever and I always have to take the blow dryer and kind I blow dry it out and it kind of it's really time consuming so I like the fact that with this it just sprays dark it comes out dark and I don't have to do any of those unnecessary steps I'm almost through my first can I really need to go um and uh get a couple more bottles of this I purchased one more can of this I need to go online and get a couple more because this is the bomb dot Calm. This takes out all the grease in my hair. Not only that, but it also smells really good. <clears throat> I used it this morning and I love it. So this is just like it says, in between washes because I don't wash my hair every day. I wash my hair every other day and even on days that I don't wash my hair, my hair still looks really oily. So I like the fact that with this, it doesn't look oily and this does a really good job at just being a really good dry shampoo. Next up, I have the Hard Candy Soothe and Calm Toner Refresher Spray. This is just the hemp oil and aloe water spray slash toner. I use this as a facial toner um, every night after I wash my face off and I actually really like this. The aloe in it really soothes my skin and it's kind of helped reduce the redness that I have on my cheeks. Um, and the hemp oil in it actually does a really good job at moisturizing my face. Even though my face is super, super oily, I still try to add a little bit of moisture product into my skincare routine so that way my skin won't be so oily because it's pro that's why the main reason why my skin is oily or why anybody's skin is oily is because it's overproducing the oils that you're lacking in your face or that your face thinks you're lacking. So that's why it's a really good idea to use a lot of moisturizing products or at least I feel like I've noticed a difference in my oily skin since I've been using a lot more moisturizing products. All in all, this is a really good facial spray. I haven't really looked up the ingredients in this facial spray, so I don't know 100% if this is like a really good product to use, but it hasn't irritated my skin. I have super sensitive skin. This hasn't irritated my skin whatsoever. I haven't had any breakouts or anything like that. All in all, it is a really good soothing and refreshing facial toner. Hello, my name is Hannah, and in my spare time, I like to try to save the planet. No, but for real though, I have been trying to eliminate my waste, especially since I've been staying home a lot more um, with everything that's been going on. I've noticed just how wasteful everybody can be just you know how trashy everybody is so i'm trying to eliminate that and one of the ways that i'm trying to do that is with makeup removers so i decided to invest in some microfiber removing pads these are amazing i love them i like to use these with warm water though i don't really like to use these with cold water but these does an amazing job at getting off all of my makeup they're super soft which i love they're almost kind of like putting a blanket on your face the only thing though is that i do have three right here here, I'm probably going to order another pack so that way I'll have six because otherwise I'm having to wash these constantly because I pretty much wear makeup on an everyday basis because I like to. It's my face. It's what I want to do. Um, but other than that though, it does a really good job at getting off all of the makeup on my face. However, I've had to stop using these to remove my eye makeup. Not that it won't get it off or it's just simply because my eyes are so sensitive and they've been drying out my eyelids and they sometimes won't get off all my mascara so 
I'm still using a um, disposable eye makeup remover, but for the most part, I have transitioned over to the microfiber pad trend. I don't really think I'll be returning to makeup wipes. We'll have to see. Um, these actually get my face pretty clean, even with the makeup wipes. Like, I was having to kind of use one, sometimes two, sometimes even three wipes to get off my makeup before I could wash my face. And with this, it gets my face completely clean and my face feels fresh and clean. I don't have that kind of gritty feeling that you get sometimes whenever you do use a makeup wipe. I don't know if anybody else experienced that or not. That's one of the reasons why I was kind of like trying to look for something else to use other than a makeup wipe because I just, I hate that gritty, like, dirty feeling that you have on your skin. It kind of looks like a residue, and I just don't like that. But with these, I love this. So, definitely recommend these. I don't know what brand these are, because they're on the package, and I obviously threw the packaging away, but I got these off of eBay. Um, they shipped from New Jersey. So, if I can find these exact ones on there, I'll have them listed in the description box below. Now we're jumping into makeup, whoop whoop. So let's start out with this product right here because I had this on today. This is the e.l.f. Glitter Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade of Bling Bling. I actually really like this eyeshadow. However, it is very, very sheer. This is almost more like a glitter topper. So what I did today, because today is the 4th of July when I'm filming this, I actually put on a white eyeshadow and then I just kind of put the silver glitter over the top to just kind of look a little festive. And I actually really like this product. It is a good liquid glitter. I'm not going to call this an eyeshadow because, like I said, it's not pigmented. But it is a good glitter topper, this particular shade. I haven't tried any other shades. I'm going to be ordering a couple more soon because apparently some of the other shades are a bit more pigmented. But I like the applicator. I like that it is a flat, small, sponge tip applicator. I like the size of the product, too. It is pretty miniature. I know some people um, in the reviews on elf.com, they were saying that they didn't like the packaging. They didn't like how small it was. But I actually really like how small this is because... Let's be real, how often are you going to reach for a liquid glitter eyeshadow? Probably not often. So, honestly, it's okay. Not only that, too, but, I mean, if this dries up before I use it all, I'm not going to feel super guilty about it because, number one, it was only $5. Number two, it's tiny. So, it's not like I'm wasting a lot of product. So, I really like it. It doesn't irritate my eyes. It doesn't bother me. The glitter doesn't flake off on your eyes throughout the day. It stays on all day. I like it. I can't get enough of it. It definitely is worth it for the price that it is. I have the NYX Tame and Frame Eyebrow Pomade. This is just in the shade of chocolate. And I'm also wearing this today as well as my eyebrow product. I, at first, wasn't too sure about this product. I mentioned in my review that I did for this that I was going to have to play around with it some more to just kind of get my feeling on it. And I figured that I would give you guys an update on that review. So, since that review, I have been using this every single day for two solid weeks. And I actually really like it now that I've been really using it up. It's not a super creamy product. It is a very, very stiff almost kind of like a stiff cream that you have to use if that kind of makes sense but I like the fact that you can use this in layers and the fact that it is a little bit stiff because it kind of makes it a little bit more easier to kind of carve out my lines that I do on the top and the bottom before I fill everything in so I like that aspect of it I like how natural my brows look when I do wear this, I feel like the shade of chocolate is a good match for me. I did mention in that video that I didn't think it was a good match, but I actually do think this is a pretty decent match. Um, the only thing that I am a little kind of on the fence about is the packaging because it's a little bit hard for me to sometimes untwist the cap because sometimes the cap kind of gets stuck. But other than that, though, I think this is a really good product, and I really do think that this is worth your money. As this was a product that I really wanted to love, I really, really did, but I have been using this, and I'm honestly just not feeling it. This is the Maybelline City Bronzer. This is in the shade of 100. I like the shade of this bronzer because it's not a super orange bronzer. I mentioned in a video that I have a hard time finding 
bronzers at the drugstore that don't pull to orange on me, which is why I normally gravitate towards um, high-end bronzers because normally the shade range is a little bit better. But this bronzer is so lacking pigment. Like, it is not funny. You have to sit there and just dig your brush into this product to get any product off on your face. I also used this today again just to see how I would like it. I had to layer this up quite a bit. It took a quite a while for me to do my bronzer and I'm just not about it. At first, I was trying to be positive about it and be like, okay, it's not super pigmented. You can build it up, but you know, it'd be good for a makeup beginner. I honestly think now that this would be a really frustrating item for a makeup beginner because of how much product you have to use. I'm obviously still going to keep it because I can't return it now, but uh, yeah, I'm not feeling it. I don't think that this is a good product. I think Maybelline definitely missed the mark on this one, but uh, yeah. So if there is any product in this whole entire video that I feel like you should brush on to your computer or your phone or your laptop in order, I feel like this would be the product. This is the Milani Baked Highlighter. This is in the shade Dulce Perla. And I love this highlighter. It is such a beautiful, glowy, yet natural enough highlighter that you can wear this every day. Honestly, I wear my super glowy highlighters on an everyday basis anyway. This is just so pretty. I love it. I love the shade. I think it's a really good shade if you have a fair complexion like I do. I love the formula of it. It is such a smooth powder. So creamy. So buttery. It really glides onto the skin like a dream just looks so glowy um i will say this though if you don't like huge chunks of glitter and your highlight i probably would skip on this product because this has a lot of glitter in it but it's not super chunky where it's like annoying and it looks like you got a bunch of glitter on your face it's really really melted into the product into the powder but it's still kind of reflective enough that when you go out into the sun, you can see it. I love it. I really like this highlighter. I think it's really pretty. I think that you definitely need it. So like I said, you should definitely go online and order this. Definitely try to stay home as much as possible, guys. And try to do all your shopping online if you can. Do store pickup, that type of thing. I feel like it's really important right now that we all stay home because the numbers are rising everywhere but anyway that is it for my haul update i really hope that you all did enjoy this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up down below um i am still collecting some things for another haul so be on the lookout for that haul coming maybe in the next week or so i don't know about some stuff that's still kind of coming to me but yeah um if you would like to see more videos from me, then please hit that subscribe button down there um, because I'm here for you with new videos every Thursday, Saturdays, and Mondays at 6 or 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Also, don't forget to give me a follow over on social media as well because I would love for you all to go and follow me because I post a ton of content over on my Twitter and my Instagram and I'm always active on those social medias and I'm always kind of posting a lot of things. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it and I will see you all in Thursday's video. Bye, my little Hannah.